Hey everyone, Kramer here, back with another fly tying tutorial for you. Today we're going to be tying a beadhead soft hackle hair's ear. This is a really good generalist fly that works in a lot of different water types. Uh, I particularly like it for smaller freestone streams with lots of pocket water where fish have to make fairly quick decisions and where the impressionist uh, look of this fly and the motion of the soft hackle just provides a very lifelike image. Today we're using the Firehole 633 in a size 12. Uh, this is a hook that I like simply because of the hook shank length and the wider gap, which provides a little more clearance between the hook point and the bead. Today we're using a 3.3 millimeter gold uh, tactical fly fisher tungsten bead. And then behind that we're gonna put a few wraps of 0 0.020 inch diameter lead wire. You can step this up or down as your bead size goes up or down. So for a 2.8 millimeter bead, I would probably use 0.015. And for a larger bead, like a 3.8, I would probably use 0 0.025 uh, diameter wire. All right, we're gonna put about five or six wraps on there right behind the bead head. And then we're gonna slide it back down the hook shank a little bit, put a touch of super glue right in front of it and slide it back up. We'll put a little bit of super glue over those wraps just to help seal it all up. Helps keep the thread from you know, having to go down and you have to make a bunch of wraps through the, through the wire as well. So we're gonna start and build up a little bit of a thread base right behind it. This is Uni dot thread in camel. And just match, if you're gonna change up the dubbing colors and stuff that you're using in this, just try to match your thread to something that complements that. We'll wrap back up to the front. For our rib, we're going to be using Uni Soft Wire uh, in the medium size and in a gold color. And you pretty much just need about one revolution of that. And we'll go ahead and tie that in. Just tuck it right up against the back of the lead wire and then wrap it back to where you want the body to start. Bind it down. You can build up a little bit of a taper here behind the lead wire with your thread. Uh, the dubbing will take care of that for the most part, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But then we're gonna just wrap right back to the back of the fly. I'm using the Troutline Mad Rabbit Dubbing Plus. Uh, this is a really nice dubbing, very soft, dubs on very consistently, and a little bit of flash in there just adds a touch of sparkle to the fly. So I'm going to dub in a fairly decent little rope. Uh, this is a size 12, so it does take a, di a bit of dubbing <laughs> to build up the body properly. And we'll start wrapping that forward. You'll just use the dubbing to help build that taper. Okay, so not enough. We'll add a little bit more. And we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap. Just bind that down. We're gonna leave a little bit of a gap in here for the time being between the bead head and where we stop the dubbing. And we're gonna wrap our wire up. Okay. Bind it down, a few wraps to the back, a few wraps to the front and then helicopter that off till the wire snaps. Okay, now we're gonna build up a little bit of a thorax with a little more dubbing. And this just provides something that kind of helps keep those soft hackles pushed out away from the body a little bit so that they don't lay directly against the body of the fly and kind of disappear. So we'll build up a little bit of a thorax right there like that, still leaving a little bit of room uh, behind the bead head for our soft hackle. Now the soft hackle that you use can pretty much be whatever your favorite soft hackle is. Uh, I, I'm using India hen back here, but you can also use uh, partridge or grouse or whatever you happen to have and like for your particular area or for how you like to tie. So we're gonna look for a, a feather that has fibers that are about the length of the hook. Uh, so those are a little bit long right there at the bottom, so we'll, we'll just take off a little more, okay? 
And then we're going to strip these fibers back. And you're going to look for the spot where the fibers start to kind of decrease in length. So right about there, you're starting to see those fibers really fall off in length compared to the rest of the feather. So we'll go ahead and tie in right there with the shiny side or the upper side of the feather facing toward us and the dull side against the hook shank. Trim off the excess. Oh, got a little tag sticking out there. Okay. And then we're going to take the feather and we're going to drag it between our thumb and forefinger of the left hand like that, just to fold all those fibers back. So they're all on the same side. Then we're gonna take it and turn and wrap that hackle around. Okay. And then bind down that feather stem. And trim it off. All right, so here's why we use that thorax. Uh, especially on brittle feathers like partridge, uh, they tend to fall apart very quickly if you don't reinforce that center stem of the feather somehow. Uh, so that can get broken very easily by the teeth of trout or just it just seems like it always breaks. So you can see in the center of the fly, uh, it might be hard to see here, but when you tie this, you can see this the lighter center stem of the feather. So you just wanna take a few wraps back. We're gonna build up this thorax a little bit and just wrap back until you kind of get over that stem and you've reinforced a little bit. And that's, again, that's part of the reason why we built up that little thorax back here because that helps keep those feathers splayed out instead of them basically getting tied down flat against the, the body of the fly. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put a little more dubbing on here. And that's probably a little bit too much, so we'll take some of that off. Wrap through there. All right. So we just built up a little bit more of that thorax right in the front of those hackles there, just to keep the taper nice and smooth throughout the body of the fly. Put a little bit of super glue on our thread. And then we'll finish it. That's pretty much all there is to it. This fly is really a platform. It can go a lot of different ways. You can use a lot of different colored dubbings here. You could use like a sparkle dubbing, like a nice dub or something for the thorax. You can use different soft hackles, uh, different sizes. You know, it, it, it's very, it's just a platform for you to kind of experiment with and have fun with. All right. We meant to find one, but found one in a little Low cascade right behind a, a rock. Yeah, we're gonna work him in. There we go. There he is. Oh, fish. Done. <laughs>